<laughs> Revelation 22. So again, let me start off by saying that nothing in the book of Revelation contradicts Matthew 24, Mark 13, or Luke 21. Okay, now the context of where we're at in the book of Revelation is this is after the return of our Lord Jesus and after uh, we are lifted up and the wicked, all wickedness below is destroyed forever. Okay, so let us read. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Alright, so now this to me is interesting. I was once asked to give my thoughts on this, and so let me share them real quickly. Uh, I could be way off, so if you have something different, I want to hear it. But in the life hereafter, we are going to have these bodies that will never die. There's no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more death. Um, okay, so imagine you're, this might sound silly, but say you're hang gliding and your hand slips and then you fall on the ground and you got a little boo-boo on your foot so you know you, you can't rub dirt on it fix it but you, maybe you can rub these leaves on it and fix it right up I don't know I don't know that's just my thought and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. All right, so no more curse means no more curse at all. But so you remember here in uh, Genesis 3, when it talks about an, uh, the ground being cursed, and God said to Adam, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, Curse is the ground for thy sake. So that that curse is gone. All curses are gone. Right? And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Now, this right here ought to destroy any idea that the mark of the beast is actually a physical mark. Okay, so here we're having the name of God in our foreheads it's not going to be a tattoo of God across their foreheads right and so also when people um, ha have the mark of a beast all that means is they worship politicians they think politicians are going to make their world better that's all that means and the only one that can make your life better is Jesus Christ and there shall be no night there and they need no candle neither light of the Sun for the Lord God gives them light and they shall reign forever and ever and he said unto me these sayings are faithful and true and the Lord God of the Holy Prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keeps my keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. All right, so I find this a little interesting. I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel. The angel was Jesus. Okay, so Jesus is... Uh, he, he has sent his angel and angels are a little bit of a mystery I think but uh, 
it's just interesting. He thought he was an angel, but he's not an angel. He's not a spirit. Jesus is God Almighty. So let's read. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book he which testifies these things saith surely i come quickly amen even so come lord jesus the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all amen